One of Hugo's issues has been at gateways and doorways, he'll crowd the door of the gate and try to squeeze in through you. And when I first got him, he was all about that. Wherever you're going, you're coming, you're going, he's right there at the door wanting to squeeze, squeeze through. And if you were to like try to force it your way through or block him, he'd even get more overstimulated and kind of crazy. So what I'm doing now is if I approach a door, and you know, this is three weeks of, of doing this, so he's a lot different now. He will automatically sit most of the time, and I'll say, good. And I wouldn't do this with any dog, but a dog with his issue of racing through doorways and gateways and fenceways. I want to show him that when I'm approaching this area here, instead of doing what he used to do, if he sits down and looks at me, and gets, he'll get a reward, and, and I open it, and he gets another reward. And then as I'm stepping through, if he's waiting like this, he gets another reward. I don't care if he's sitting or not. I just care that he's waiting because he's officially off the clock. He's, um, there's no leash on him or anything. But that's me leaving. And now if you're coming back, you want to keep uh, on the outside of the door somewhere a little treat for the first few weeks. Somewhere where you can, it could just be a little biscuit or something that's on a, in a little cup on the outside of the gate or the door or something. That would be ideal. But as you're coming in so that he doesn't crowd you. See this? Good, he gets a reward for doing that. And notice when, whenever we're rewarding him, it's good. Whenever I can, he gets the treat, he gets the good and the pet all at the same time. So that when you're not using food, we'll do it again. I'm leaving, good. And then when you're coming back, be down, like if he's crowding the door, you're home from work or whatever, and he's crowding the door, the first thing you do is get down there. Good boy, very good. He gets rewards and pets down on his level, so he's not jumping, so he's not going crazy, not trying to push through the door. So I just did that last time without food to show you how it can be after you just do it for a few weeks with the food. It's so that later on you can do it without the food. But when he comes home to you, uh, you need to do it just exactly like I just showed you with the food for a while. Any doorway or gateway. This is the worst gateway for him because this is where I come and go when I, where, where I leave. When I come back, when I come back home after I've been gone for a couple hours and he's in the yard or whatever. Uh, or he happens to be in this yard. He's not in the yard for a couple hours, but you know, he may be out here just running around when I come back. And I always do that there, and he's super excited to see me, so that's here, that's the gate that he would be most excited at. And you can see now, he's pretty calm. And all you have to do is continue doing that at your gateways and your doorways at your house. And of course, we'll show you when I bring him back to you and we'll practice it with you there, but that's the concept. So just uh, keep doing that at doorways and he'll keep getting less and less crazy when you're going in and out of doors.